right, so here he is, the inimitable former UFC champion, Yuri Prohaska. And I say former, but never lost the belt in the octagon. 13 consecutive wins when injury intervened. Yuri Prohaska is an absolute savage. This is a guy that made his way into the UFC in a very short period of time, became the champion. He has tremendous power. He has an uncanny ability to find the shot that ends his opponent's night. He's scary. He is a true mixed martial artist, or martial artist, as I say, with the mind of a champion. And it's very exciting to see Yuri Prohaska back in the octagon. And I'm glad you bring up the championship mindset, because anyone who maybe doubted as to whether or not he had the ticker, you got your answers in Singapore at UFC 275. Let's see how it goes for Prohaska here tonight. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover, you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Yuri Denisa Kosaka. And now we can see his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go with round one action, and all eyes are on Poetan Alex Pereira. So many layers to the... Oh, man! With conviction to the body. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous from Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw your mistake, and then he always capitalizes on it. Trademark inside. 
outside leg kick there by Pineda. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Oh, nice jab by Pineda. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Now lands a kick to the body. Big knee there. Just misses there with the left. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Trying to kick the leg out. Strike lands cleanly there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Big shot to the head. But ain't it going for the leg kick? Nothing doing there. Solid punch. Lance. That's good defense to get that guard up. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh, look at that. Oh! Oh! There it is. That's that one. That right hand. Oh, that's big. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Nice ball. Punch went nowhere. And he switches to southpaw. Oh, back and forth we go. Able to land there with the straight left. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Alex Pineda gets hit with a flush uppercut there. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Gets back to his feet. Change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Pro Husky. Pineda's eye is starting to swell shut. Landed that left hook. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. 15 seconds. Exchanged in the pocket there. So a strong five minutes stop, down. Stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, round two. Just kill.
killing him with volume two. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Sidekick. But Aiden circling towards the left now. Tries the flying knee to no avail. You cannot take shots like this right on the chin. What a beautiful way to mix up your strikes. Oh, nice right hand. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. a jab. One oh, eight, fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Pedata. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. They're so evenly matched. They're going tit for tat. Unable to connect with the right. And back to his feet. Takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Changing the position. Oh, right into Mount. Now he's got a good body position, yo. In the half guard. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Pedato. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And just misses with that big right hand. Leg kick checked effectively there by Pedato. Prohaska's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's all the I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. And now a head kick to boot. Wild swing there. on the right side of his body. Push kick there to the body. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess the credit to him still in the fight. He's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. Fifteen seconds. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a perfect body shot there. He's hurt. I mean, that's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got it from over here. Oh. What a round. Oh. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it.
from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Here we go. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Missed on the right hand. Pretty fast jab. Prohaska's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. He continues to target that area wise. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but... He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, this is... Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yuri Denisa Pusheta. So Yuri Prohaska lighting up the masses and the arena as usual as he is your winner tonight by knockout. Massive knockout victory for Yuri Prohaska. The guy wins fights, and he wins fights impressively. And tonight, once again, he knocks out another opponent.